Good day, everyone. This is Edwin Evangelist Chang, founder and principal master tutor of EduH Learning Hub, your English language specialist. At EduH, we delight in helping students learn English just like math and science using formulas. Now, today I've got some really great news for concerned parents like yourself, whose child will be sitting for the GCO or N level exams in the next few months. Over the course of next two weeks, I'll be sharing with you seven secret tips that will boost your child's writing score by minimally one band or more. Today's tip number one goes towards situational writing. Now, as we all know, the situational writing component of English Paper 1 is a total of 30 marks. This 30 marks is actually subdivided into two different components. One, task fulfillment, which is the evaluation of your child's content and ideas, and this is worth 10 marks. And two, language which actually assesses your child's use of grammar and vocabulary which is a total of 20 marks now these two components add up to 30 marks what many students aren't aware is the fact that the task fulfillment and the language component is actually marked independently now listen to this very carefully the cambridge markers has shared that the task fulfillment and the language component is actually marked independently so what this means is that for any student even if their grammar foundation is currently weak or perhaps they are just average in grammar they can still score well for the situational writing component now how is this possible well for task fulfillment the quality of ideas is not dependent on grammar okay so so long as your child is able to share ideas which are original specific and creative they will be to able to score a minimum of eight out of ten marks for task fulfillment now even if a student who is average in grammar let's say they or they only score 12 or 13 out of 20 marks now with that eight nine or ten marks for task fulfillment they could easily score b3 a2 or even an a1 so that is why it is possible for any student including your child to score well for paper one situational writing even if they are currently just average in grammar all right okay so this is tip number one for today if you like the tip that i've just shared do stay tuned over the next few days i'll share with you more tips and strategies whereby your child can apply them to see immediate and quick improvements to their paper one thank you see you around